everybody, this is Jay Rocker. I'm about to hit 1,000 miles for the second time on my 2019 Ford Fusion Hybrid Energy. Um, I only put 13 gallons in it. Apparently, uh, it's got a 14 gallon tank, but the most I've ever put in it is 13 gallons. Um, it's usually pretty consistent. Like I was hitting 13.000 gallons at max capacity. Um, it's like my first four fill-ups. But uh, here we are. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know. Hopefully that comes out good. Um, the little green lines there are really neat when they're showing. That means it sees road and it automatically keeps me between the lines so I may seem like I'm a little distracted trying to videotape this and drive at the same time but I'm just chilling sitting in the driver's seat as long as I keep my hand on the steering wheel it's usually pretty happy um, first 10,000 miles have been pretty awesome. Uh, my first 5,000 miles, I think I got around 50 miles per gallon on average. And during the winter, I was getting at best like 15 miles on a charge. Um, but now, since the temperature's warmed up, it's 55 degrees out. Um, we had a couple of days of 80 for a while. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm almost getting 30 miles on an electric charge now. So I recently got back from Daytona Beach. The highway miles were not quite as impressive as the um, as the daily commute miles. But basically, with my uh, 30 mile range now on electric, I can get to work and back home without having to use hardly any gas at all. So on the way back from Daytona Beach, I think I filled up in Tennessee and even on, on gas alone um, with 13 gallons, I'm getting about um, 500 miles per tank and that's just not plugging it in at all. Um, but plugging it in, I get it. I'm getting 30 extra miles every time I plug it in. It takes eight hours to get a charge on the 120 outlet, and it takes about half that, three and a half to four hours to get a full charge on the 240 outlet. I was gonna install the 240 plug in my house, but I got the wrong plug. So I've been, I don't know, I only charge it at night. So um, my electric bill has gone up about $10 more per month. Um, in the winter, it was actually down compared to from last year's. Um, about $20 or $30 cheaper, actually. But that was because I was running a space heater in my garage to try and keep my, my cat happy. But the cat ran away. Wasn't happy after all. <laughs> um, so hopefully the cat's okay. Wherever you know, it's happy now. It's free, and I don't have to run a space heater in my garage in the winter. So it all worked out. Anyways, um, super happy with with the way everything's going, trying to stay focused here on my first YouTube video to explain some things. Um, so yeah, I bought this gas in Tennessee, and I got 30 miles of range left on it, on just gas. Um, I got five miles of range left on electric right now. I'm just trying to run this off, because I stopped at my local charging station that I love, while I detailed my car, I got a free charge. It was pretty awesome. So, uh, 
figured I'd just run out some electric, hit this thousand miles. I don't know, maybe I'll buy gas on Sunday. Um, as it is, I kind of want to just ride this out as long as I can. I think the next time I fill up at this rate, I could probably hit 2,000 miles on a tank of 13 gallons of gas. I am putting premium gas in it. Um, it's what the manual calls for. And for all those people wondering, um, if I go over a year without putting gas in the tank, the computer will automatically um, switch over to gas burn only mode. So as to uh, make sure that I get rid of the, the old gas and it doesn't go bad. But because of that, they, they do recommend that we run premium in it. Um, other than that, uh, loving the autopilot-ish. It's not quite a Tesla. Um, the, the performance speed-wise speed is, uh, is decent. I mean, when I mash it, I get about 200 horsepower, and, you know, it's no Beamer or Tesla, but it's fast enough. Uh, I averaged about 46 miles per gallon on the way back from Florida, um, but that's because I was going a little bit too fast. Apparently, the electric, uh, the hybrid drive works better at around 60 to 70 miles per hour and on flat surfaces, so I don't know. But the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm gonna click over. I still got three miles of range left on electric. Still got my green lines on there. Hopefully you guys can see that. See, it got a little too close to the yellow and the steering wheel immediately turned me back between the greens. It's pretty awesome. Definitely an interesting experience having the car try to tell you what to do. Thousand miles. Current tank, I'm averaging 78.6 miles per gallon. On this 5,000 miles, the uh, 2,000 mile trip to Florida really hurt my average miles per gallon. I'm only at 47.9 for the I try to keep my every 5,000 to see where I'm at. Um, currently I'm going to get 26 miles on my next full charge. See, I thought I could show you my average miles per gallon. There it is. Overall, lifetime, 9,531 miles. I'm getting 51.7 miles per gallon. Um, I'm looking to definitely increase that over the summer because I'm loving my 30 miles extra every time I charge it. Um, I broke it down. It's like two dollars or something to to charge it at my house, or maybe a dollar or something. All your electronic rates will vary, however. I'm loving it. The car is paying for itself in the gas savings. Alright, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye bye!